Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you purge Sage 50 companies, you remove inactive customers, vendors, employees, jobs, quotes, invoices, purchases, and other items from the company file. You can only purge the information for fiscal years that are closed. Doing this will clear space on your computer by reducing the file size. You can purge your company file at any time. Some good times to purge would be at the close of the fiscal year or the payroll tax year. However, since the purge process may take a long time to complete, you should start it at the end of your business day, making sure that you leave the computer running. You should also make sure that all other applications are closed prior to performing the purge. You use the Purge Wizard to assist you in the process of purging your company file. The wizard simplifies the process by prompting you for all of the necessary information. You must create a backup before purging your company file. Sage 50 actually recommends that you create two backups, one for the current file and one to store off-site in case of emergencies. The Purge Wizard helps you facilitate this process by allowing you to create the necessary backups. It's also worthwhile to note that this is not the process that you would use to repair corrupt data. That would be restoring your company from a backup file. Sage 50 also recommends that if you have extensive data, you may want to consider purging in sections rather than purging all of the information at once. This allows for shorter, controlled sessions of purging, which saves time and memory resources. To start the purge, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to the System command, and then choose the Purge Wizard command. This will open the Purge Wizard. It shows you the date of the most recently closed fiscal and payroll years. Just as with any other wizard, you simply click the Back and Next buttons to step through the wizard, answering the questions it poses and responding to prompts. Next, you'll see the Backup Company Data screen. Here you can choose to create one or preferably two copies of your company to have on hand before proceeding. To include your company name in the backup file, make sure you check the Include Company Name in the Backup File Name checkbox. Then click the Backup button to decide where you want to save your Sage 50 backup file. In the Save Backup window, use the Look in drop-down at the top of the window to navigate to the folder where you want to save the file. You can rename the file if desired by using the file name text box. Sage 50 gives you a default name that includes the name of your company file and the date. You can click the Save button when you're ready. Sage 50 will then tell you the size of the backup file, and you can click OK. The backup will then occur, and don't interrupt the backup process as this can corrupt your company file's data. Then click the Next button to continue after you've made the backups. This will take you to the old Transactions screen. Here you select the transactions that you want to purge. First enter the date on or before which your transactions can be purged. Then in the Transactions group box, select the transactions that you want to purge. You can delete receivables, such as quotes, invoices, and receipts, payables, POs and Sage 50 accounting and complete, and purchases and payments, payroll, all your payroll transactions, general journals, meaning the journals and their entries, audit trails in Sage 50 complete and hire only, used tickets, time and expense tickets used in payroll and sales, which are only in Sage 50 complete and hire, as well as unused tickets, which would be unused time and expense tickets. If you choose this, you would also need to enter a date on or before which such tickets can be purged. When you're finished, click the Next button to continue. This will then bring up the Account Reconciliation screen. This lets you select whether you want to perform account reconciliation or not. If you do, you decide which accounts you need to reconcile before the purge. You would select the Yes option to reconcile, or the No option to skip the reconciliation. If you select Yes, then you must select the accounts that you wish to reconcile prior to purging. 
For each account category, like cash, you can double-click the black arrow to display a drop-down list of individual accounts. Any accounts that haven't been reconciled in the past will be marked by default. You can select the checkbox to place a red check next to any accounts that you want to reconcile. If an account is selected here, any transactions within the account that have not been reconciled, regardless of date, will not be purged. When you're finished, click the Next button to continue. This will then bring up the Inactive Maintenance Records screen. This lets you decide the types of inactive maintenance records to purge. You can only purge inactive records if they are not used in transactions and also have zero balances. Select the checkbox next to the types of inactive records you wish to purge. When you're ready, click the Next button to continue. This will then bring up the Summary of Options screen. Here you will see a summary of the different options that you have set for the purge. If you're satisfied with your selected options, then just click the Begin Purge button to begin the purge. If you're not satisfied, you can click the Back button to return to the previous screens and change any options that you need to. When you click the Begin Purge button, a window appears that lets you know that the purge wizard is removing your old company data. You can see the progress that appears within the middle of the window. Once the purge is completed, Sage50 will announce that the purge has been complete. To see a detailed log of the progress of the purge after it's completed and what changes it has made, you can click the Log button that appears at the bottom of the purge wizard window. Then when you're finished, you can simply click the Close button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.